terrible demons. Ouch! <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Resident Evil 1. We have finally found our first freaking mansion key, the armor key, which opens up apparently like 72 doors or something crazy like that. I did not remember how many doors <laughs> this thing opens, so we've got to go find them now. Luckily, I think there is one very close by. And uh, off screen, I went back to the room with the plant that we killed. I picked up the last green herb. I combined some and I threw some in the box. So um, I picked out a full heal just in case things go south, because they probably will. And of course, we've still got the, the pistola and the shotty, which are my two best friends in the whole world. And uh, it's time to venture back out into the world of survival horror. Uh, but yeah, the, the door I think we want should be back round near the pillar. And, if I'm not mistaken, our old mate Fabian is still chilling over there. Look at him. Oh, that's classic Fabian, that is. Right. Yeah, we killed the other ones in here, thank God. I'm worried about these windows, though. I don't remember if anything comes through these ones. I bloody hope not. Because I don't like being surprised. Uh, I think this is the door. You have used the armor key. Yes. Now, funnily enough, I thought I'm playing the European version of this game, which, if that's the case, it really should be spelt with a U in that armor, but, uh, oh well. Right, what horrors await us beneath door, beneath, behind door number one? Okay. Oh, this is where you get the replica shotgun chaps. Which, again, if you're playing as Jill, is kind of useless. Kind of useless. So, unless... Well, I don't know. Can you die as Jill in the room? Will Barry ever not save you? That's something I actually don't know. I always worry that he won't save me. But, um, I will take this ammo. Thank you very much. There we go. And... Anything else in here? Again, I know I've commented on this, but, like... It's crazy playing this after the remake, comparing just how, like, empty this mansion feels compared to the remake, because just there's no decoration. It's just so bare. The desk is locked. Will you use the lockpick? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's probably locked for a reason. It's probably someone's private things in here, but Jill doesn't give a fuck. You have used the lockpick. Oh, of course, I always store my shotgun rounds in my desk as well. Yes. Shotgun shells, whatever, rounds. Oh, this was a good room. I mean, didn't need the uh, the replica shotgun. Absolutely no reason to pick that up. But um, we're looking pretty good on ammo nowadays. I am happy with this. The only problem now is we need to find the rest of the doors. I'm sure there's like another four of them. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do, because I do not remember, I'm going to go back this way. I don't think there were any this way, but I just want to check anyway, because my memory sucks. And I'll be annoyed at myself if I leave this area and have to come all the way back. Um, so if we go this way, that was back to the plant room, so I know we don't need anything there. Spooky music. Yeah, this area in particular, I don't I don't know if it's just the green wallpaper. Kind of gives me, um, uh, Shining vibes. You know, it's really garish wallpaper. God, that's my favorite horror film of all time. What's everyone's favorite horror film? Yeah, The Shining for me. I watched that when I was way too young. And it scared the bejesus out of me. Oh, this is the tiger room. Okay, so I think actually we want to be leaving this area then. And, uh... I suppose, backtracking through areas we've already been. Um, there's a couple of things we could do without the armor key, of course. We we have the piano room, the bar, that we need to go back to at some point. Um, where did this go again? I actually don't remember. Oh, it's the itchy, tasty room, of course. Right, I don't think I missed anything in here, did I? 
You never know, there might be random items under beds and shit. I'm pretty sure I searched it all, right? One of them looks you- yeah, I'm pretty sure I searched this place. And the desk. No shotgun shells in that one. But uh, also, I apologize, the game was a little bit quiet last time. So, I've upped it a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try my best not to talk over any of the dialogue, because it's just so good, but I just can't help it. I can't help laughing. Ugh. It's really powerful. Especially against living sandwiches. Hope you've been enjoying my, uh, stupid titles for these episodes. By the way. Right, we opened this. This was, um... This was the piano room. I know for a fact we need the lighter, though, to get... Oh, actually, no, that's to get the map. Yeah, we still haven't got the freaking map for the second floor, have we? This door's locked, I think, from the other side. Yep. Um... What's my inventory looking like? We might be able to do this, actually, with... My current... You know what? Let's go back in here. Our armor key odyssey... We'll have to just take a little uh, hiatus a second. Can you play? Oh my god. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm just thinking of, of uh, Chris's campaign with Rebecca. Oh my god. A fine grand piano. It is. I bet that's worth a pretty penny. And I think I can just push this, right? Can I push this? Yeah, push it real good. And is this the sheet music? Will you take the music notes? Yes. So, as far as I'm aware, Jill can play the piano, right? As Chris, you need Rebecca to do it. But if we use the sheet music... Oh, we can check it first. Let's let's check it. See if anything... The title is Moonlight Sonata. One of my favorite pieces. Bloody love it. Nothing on the back. No, nothing on the back. Okay. Oh, I meant to use it. Never mind. Never mind. Here we go. Play some banging tunes here, Jill. Oh, bravo. Oh, bravo, Jill. Gosh, she's so talented. She can shoot things in the dick, and she can play Moonlight Sonata. I mean, marry me, Jill. For the love of God. Right, anyway, is there anything behind the bar? Can I f actually find anything else in here? But, um, yeah, how weird is it that you play the Moonlight Sonata on a grand piano, and it opens up a secret door? I mean, yes, I can get behind, like, oh, that one particular book in the bookcase. If you move it, it activates a, a, a lever and it, you know, opens a door. Um, and in Batman, you know, play a few notes on it, but not a whole song. That's mental. Imagine having to, you know, if, if you stored your, your, your porn stash in here, every time you fancied a tug, you'd have to crack out the Moonlight Sonata before you could crack anything else out. You know what I mean? It's pretty messed up. Anyway. Ah, this is why I need that thing over the fireplace. Let's go grab that. I don't have the music on me anymore. Nope, that's okay. And luckily, this uh, thing we need is not very far away at all. And I, I can only assume that this is going to get us another crest. And if that is the case, we're only going to need one more, which is really good. Because then we'll be on to the next stage of the game. Well, I must admit, I, I always prefer the mansion. You do go to other places in this game, but the mansion to me is always the best, you know? It's it's so fun to explore and atmospheric, and I just, I like exploring spooky houses more than, well, you'll see. You'll see. But yes, we will take the emblem. Again, not quite sure how Jill would know to do this, but 
I've played the game before, so... Let's have a check. There's a scratch. Someone may have used it. Okay, well that's actually not much of a clue. I tell you what though, that'd be pretty good for bashing some zombie heads in, wouldn't it? Maybe a little bit hefty, I don't know. Right, so this is like the second instance of having to use an item to replace an item so that you can get another item and it's uh, it's fine, it's good. I, I, I enjoy these kinds of things. It's very satisfying. It's a very fancy door when you think about it, isn't it? That is a pretty fancy door. Also, in case anyone cares, it's 5am. Yay, I wonder what time it is in game. Also, is this like a... Is that... Is that the other side of... Is that the plant room? I mean, it looks like there's some plant... I don't actually know what room that is. Let's check the map. Is that next to a room that I can go in? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That is the plant room, I'm pretty sure. Huh, I never knew that. Or I never thought about it. Right, let's take this out. Will you take the gold emblem? It's one heck of an upgrade. And yes, you may guess that if we try to leave now- Oh, no! I don't think Barry's gonna be able to save us from this predicament, so, yep, you need- this other emblem, which, again, thankfully is super easy to get. And just so happens to, uh, fit perfectly. It's very, uh, it's very Indiana Jones, uh, you know, isn't it? Although that actually didn't work for him, did it? He didn't guess the weight right of the, uh, the bag of dirt, but okay. It's fine. In Indy... That's why he's such a, a a great movie hero. He's fallible. He he makes mistakes. He's he's relatable. I've still not seen the new one yet. Still not seen the new one. Um, right. So that gold emblem is. Oh, come to think of it, for a, for some reason I thought we'd get the thing we wanted in he. No. So do I just put the gold emblem back on the fireplace? I actually completely forgot about this step. Does this have something to do with the grandfather clock, actually? I, I don't know, chaps. I'm just talking to myself. Which is what I do for a living. We'll go see, because otherwise I have no idea what I'm doing with this. I don't think there's anywhere else you put it. It's just the old switcheroo. A dining room. Wait just a moment. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's the hollow that an emblem was in. I should just do the whole thing as Barry. That'd be great. Ah, it is to do with the grandfather clock. Ah, now... Is... Am I correct? I think in the remake there's a puzzle with the grandfather clock instead. I could be wrong. There's something sparkly in here. What is it? What is it? Shit, is that the... Is that the helmet key? Oh my god, have we just got both the keys? Dude. Dude. I can't think of any other... Oh no, that's the shield key. Oh, I forgot about this one. Right. Have we even found a shield door yet? I don't know if we have. I know we found helmet doors, but... Okay. I completely forgot about the shield key. Which now means we're, we're kind of limited on inventory space, because these keys, even though they're tiny, take up one slot. Alright, let's go back to the main hall. I think the locked door in here on the ground floor was the helmet key door, as far as I remember. Also, god damn, this floor is really echoey. God damn. Yeah, this is helmet door, right? No, it's the armor key! Oh shit! Never mind then. Right, where is this? Let me just check the map. Let me check the map. Right, this is going to take us to a series of rooms. In fact, it looks like there might be another hidden room. Right. I've got my shotty at the ready. 
I ain't afraid to use it. Oh. Okay. There's a light switch on the wall, I've just noticed. It won't let me use it. No, I didn't mean to go out the fucking door, Jill. It's funny, right? Whenever you're desperately trying to get into a door, you're never quite in line with it, right? Are you? You know, if there's zombies chasing you or whatever. But when you don't need to, when you don't mean to do it, you could be five feet away from the door. Oh, yep, no, opens. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Jill. Right. Again, really impressed with the uh, reflections of the mirror. It's very cool. What do we have here? Oh, more ammo. I will definitely take that. And, yeah, what the heck is this? An object of art. <laughs> you have such a great way of describing things, Jill. Nothing special. I don't know, man. That couch looks comfy. Uh, it's, it's always... It's, it's very unsettling when things get really quiet like this. Oh, shit. Plumbing Frederick's just chilling back there. Is he going to come out? Yeah, let's, let's pistol him. We've got plenty of pistol ammo. God, I thought the game froze then. Can I please get a, a headshot? Or did they not... I, th I could have sworn you could... Okay, he's not dead. Could have sworn you could get random headshots. I love the zombie noises. Oh. Oh. I don't think you're dead. No, you are dead. I just couldn't see the blood. Right, cool. What's back here? Anything? The desk is locked. How much freaking shit is locked in this game? I'm telling you, man. Playing as, as Chris is a complete ball, like having to find all these goddamn keys. And it's just shotty shells, which I will absolutely take. Seventeen of the bastards. We've got like, like twenty-four shotgun shells. That's so good. Various things, stuff, and things. It's down this very narrow corridor. It's actually. I'm so used to having to dodge zombies, right? In the remake. It's it's fun killing them. Oh shit. Uh, excuse me. Freaking Crawly Carlos over here. What's all that about? Is this the mirror room? This is the mirror room. Also, lots of herbs, which I actually don't need to pick up right now. I have quite a few of those. Um. But, oh, I've already, already reloaded. Yeah. Uh, I can't even pick them up to combine them, so we're just going to have to leave those here. Nothing major. Nothing major. There's another door there. Let's examine the mirror. Oh, I can't. Oh, we got something in the booth. Oh, it's more ink ribbons. Actually, oh, I'm not going to pick those up right now, even though obviously more ink ribbons is always good. This is the problem, man. Inventory management is still such an issue. I'm not going to pick them up just yet, but remember that those are there. You don't have the key for this room. What do you mean I don't have the key for this room? Oh, wait, this isn't the... Oh, is this the the key, the, the room with the, uh, like, the bonus costumes that you unlock? If you beat the game, that might be what it is. That might be what it is. I know there is one in here somewhere. Which is uh, a little bit different, I think, to the remake. Yeah, I think that's what that is. But there's also, there's definitely, like, what looks to be a room in the middle of these other rooms. But maybe not. Hmm. I think I am going to pick up those ink ribbons then. And... Uh, I don't know, though. I, I should pick them up. I should pick them up because I... I, I like to save my game. I'm going to pick those up. The herbs are just going to have to stay there. If we get desperate, 
it's not a big deal to come back and get them. They're, they're not in a difficult place, so... That's fine. See you later, Carlos. Wasn't anything over here, was there? I feel like I'm missing something in this room, though. I feel like there's a puzzle in here that I just haven't done, but... I guess, uh... We'll just move on. Right. So now we have no inventory space. I need to go dump some shit. Uh, which is a problem because... Well, it's not a problem. It isn't. Now that we've unlocked the other door on the left side of the mansion, we can get back to that safe room pretty quickly. Which I'm gonna have to do, really. I might even put away the shield key for now because I don't... I don't remember seeing any shield doors, but as soon as I put that away, you know for a fact... You know for a fact... I'm gonna have to, uh... Go back and get it. Uh, but I feel like we shouldn't... well... I'm full health. I'm not- I'm not gonna save right now, because I have- I have full heal on me. Got plenty of ammo. I'm not gonna save just yet. I think I'm gonna backtrack to... the safe room we started in. Go back up the stairs, check some of those doors. Uh, yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I wonder if uh, we're going to come across Barry anytime soon. I actually, because he pops up throughout the game. I always forget when he appears or what triggers him. But I do. I bloody miss the guy. Whoa. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> uh, don't open that door. I love this game. I truly, truly love it. And thank you so much, everyone, who's uh, watched the first episode. I haven't actually uploaded the second part of this yet. But uh, people seem to enjoy it, so that makes me happy. Right, old Fabian, are you still there in the corner? Of course it is. I think I think him and Percy, they're going to live to the rest of the game. They're, they're not going to die ever. I'm never going to kill them. Right. Let's pop uh, these ink, uh, ink ribbons, ink ribbons away temporarily. How many of those we got now? We got eight. Bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. No, I don't want to take them out, you knobhead. Oh, can I only s stack five at a time? I guess so. Never mind then. Um, oh, it sucks having only one free inventory space. We'll exit for now. I'm going to quickly... Like I say, go check out some of the doors upstairs. And... Hopefully we can unlock some of those doors. Because I did, I did kill the two zombies up here, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I don't remember if any respawn... Well, there'll be a point... We, we leave the mansion at some point and then we come back and then things are slightly different. I'm fucking way scarier, but... For now, I think we're pretty good. It's locked. A carving of a helmet, right? And then there was this door with the number code, which we don't have. Ah, shucks. Okay, so it looks like we might not be uh, making any progress this way. I think I need to go back to the other side of the mansion. Ugh. Yeah, okay. I mean, we could go back to the other safe room, I guess. Because there was, there was another couple of doors on that landing. Let's avoid Percy. Old Percival. You know, apparently he has uh, a very large uh, Pokemon card collection, does Percy. That's what he told me. Off screen. He told I, I don't he just randomly walked up to me and didn't bite me, so I was like, oh that's weird. And then he just started talking about his Pokemon card collection. It was uh it's quite odd. Just like this commentary is complete bullshit. Right. This takes me back to the Yeah, I refer to this as the red corridor just because of the carpet. And it's really fucking dark. 
You have used the armor key. Now, ooh. This... This is gonna take... Right, we're gonna go through here. Because I think we might be about to have some of the best dialogue in this game, and it's not actually from Barry, believe it or not. Here we go. Richard, what happened? It's music. Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! <laughs> You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? <laughs> it was a huge snake and also poisonous. Uh. Uh. Poisonous? Oh, no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh, no. I should have brought some with me. <laughs> no problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Thanks. Terrible demons. Ouch. <laughs> Richard, you fucking legend. Right, we need to go back to the safe room that we were just in to get the serum to save Richard. That's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing. Game even kind of is very generous. It actually shows you where the serum is, although we already know. So, this is actually, I believe, timed. You can fail this. Um, it won't give you a game over or anything, but I'm going to try and save Richard. Because, you know, he deserves it. Also, although, I've got to educate him a little bit because freaking bloody, uh, you know, this giant snake has attacked him, which, by the way, is terrifying. I am fucking terrified of snakes. But the fact that he was like, it's poisonous, well, he wouldn't know that unless he ate it. Poison, poisonous snakes, you know, are, are, are things that will upset your tummy if you eat them. Just like anything is poisonous. Uh, venomous is what he meant. That it can inflict venom, or inject venom, I should say. So, you know, get your freaking terminology right, Richard. I know you're in a considerable amount of discomfort right now, but it's no, no excuse. Come on, Jill. Come on, Jilly Bean. we got to save our, another one of our comrades. I love that we just randomly come across so many of them. Like, how did they get the... I don't know. I forget. Is it, Richard must be part of Bravo team as well, because he didn't come in on the chopper, I don't think. So you got Kenneth, Forrest, Richard... Um... Uh, can't remember. Can't, I, I don't know all that. I, I'm not an expert on Resident Evil lore. I really am not. Right, let's grab the serum. Bing bang bosh. You take the serum. Yes. We must save Richard. I don't know if this affects the endings that you can get if you save or not save Richard. I, I, again, I have no idea. We're just playing the game, guys. We're just playing the game. Right, now we run all the way back. It's fun, isn't it? Super fun. I think I've taken the best, quickest route. I think if we'd gone the other way, the downstairs way, it'd be pretty much the same, wouldn't it? Um, although I did have to like, run around a little bit to dodge Percy. Also, my stomach just growled. I think I need some breakfast. I'm coming, Richard. I'm coming. Don't die on me. Terrible demons. Ouch! <laughs> oh, it's just it's just the best. It's they couldn't you couldn't intentionally make something like this. You know what I mean? Like I, I genuinely thought they were making something really good. Well they did, but like in terms of the voice acting and stuff. Um I don't think you could intentionally make a game with bad voice acting, because you could tell. You can always tell. Like, I feel like these people tried, they just weren't given much to work with. I don't know. It's just glorious, and I'm so glad it exists. Because it makes me laugh. Gives me a reek chuckle, it does. Right, I think we did that pretty quick. If Richard dies now, I'm calling bull bulgism. There's no way he should die. And... Actually, I just remembered, if you do save him, he helps you at some point soon. Oh, he's still breathing. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, 
Here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... Oh, God. No! Richard! Wait, did he die? Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. Wait. Did I fail to save him? I did that super quick. Also, yeah, his wounds. I don't know if just a, a serum shot is going to fix the gaping snake bite in his whole abdomen. Um, Richard is dead. Are you fucking kidding me? Is the time limit that strict? Oh, I'm sorry, Richard. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, we let Richard die. And I can't even teabag him out of, you know, respect. This, I'm so sorry, Richard. I, so basically we just wasted like a whole bunch of time there. Oh, uh, I mean, he, he can die. Any I think he dies anyway. Um, he does in the remake. Oh, dude. That fucking sucks. That freaking sucks so much penis. Oh, look at that handprint. Ah, I think I remember actually. Is there a zone? Shit, 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 shit. Okay, get away. Oh, wow, you died with like three shots? Nice. See you later, freaking Terrence. Right, yeah. Um, I don't want to go in there. There's something horrible in there. I will go this way, though. Well, I don't know if I can go in there right now. I might not have the right key, but I'm scared. Okay. It's the one bit of this game that actually does get me a little bit. Oh, it's this room. I think we need the lighter in here. Because apparently it's going to be too dark to do anything. There's something on the table there as well, you see. Oh. It's ink ribbons. Wait, we can pick those up? I thought it'd be too dark in here to see anything. Um, I've got plenty of ink ribbons right now. I'm not going to pick these up. I'll be able to... I'll be coming back to this, this area soon. Well, maybe not soon. I don't know. Can I push this? There better not be a zombie through here. There better not be a zombie through here. Jill, is there a zombie? Can you give me a heads up? I can't see. Oh, that's weird. I'm pretty sure in the remake there was a zombie in here. It's too dark to see anything. Ah, uh, I don't even remember what is in here, but we need the lighter. We need the lighter. Because I think you light the candles on the table. Oh, freaking more ammo, though. Take that. Heck yes. Is there any more in there? Nope. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't know if I can open this door. I think it might be the helmet key. Um. But I, honestly, yeah, I don't really want to go in this room anyway. Oh, no, it's the shield. Oh, no! Oh, wait, this key is useless now. <gasps> oh, I forgot they did this! Oh, excellent, yeah, I'll discard it. I mean, I'm not sure how Jill knows that this is key is useless now. Like, she's not been in the entire mansion, but... Okay, I guess we'll throw it away. Well, that creates more inventory space. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm not going in that room yet. I am not ready for that room yet. Particularly because... Oh, should I do it? I forget how this works. In Right, in the remake, there's, there's a boss in there, right? And you can not actually fight it. You can kind of just run in, grab the thing that you want, and then get out. Um, but I don't know in this version of the game if you have to kill it. So we're gonna, we're go I'm definitely gonna go save before I go in there, chaps. There's no way I'm going in there without saving. So we're gonna continue to explore the rest of the mansion, but we know we can go in there now, so that's fine. See you later, Richard. Don't you dare turn on me. Um, I could pick up these herbs now. But again, I don't really need them. I can pick them up on the way back. Or when we come back here, because we will. We will come back. But I'm curious to see if we can open up the big blue double doors in this corridor now. 
We're around the corner. Along with another freaking zombie. Oh. Oh, actually, it's pretty clear. Right, can we open this? Yes. Right, I think there's a little puzzly trap thing in here. God, that's that slammed with some force. That scared the piss out of me. Ah. Uh, really cool suits of armor, though. Look at those lances. Look at those mighty weapons. But yeah, there's uh, there's two vents on the floor that we've got to cover up with these statues before we press that button. And I always, I always mess this up. I swear to God, I will mess this up. It'll look like I've covered the vent, but I bet the game's like, nah, mate, there's just a little bit of it. Like, do you reckon? That looks good to me, right? But you can't see the other side. So I bet this is going to fail first time. I bet. Bet you I'm not going to do this first time. Right, that's... That's covered, right? Right? I bloody hope so. Oh, Jill. Oh, Jill. There's a switch. What does this button do? Probably kill me. Oh my god, I did it first try. I swear, every time I've done that... Which is not many times, to be honest, but I just have a, have a vivid memory of being gassed in here. Even though I thought I'd covered it. Right, what do we have? Another crest, baby! Oh, the sun crest. That is now three crests in our uh, possession. So I'm very happy with that. So I definitely want to go save now. Definitely want to go save now. Which means... Well, well, Jill, you, the master of sandwiches, take it with you. How did I get back to the other safe room? Because I want to drop the crest off, we don't need it right now, and again, I want to save. What does this take me out? Is this the door? Is this the door that has the broken knob on it? No, it doesn't, but this is... This is where I wanted to be anyway. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't any door... Which door? Was this locked? Oh, yeah, baby! We're making so much progress. We're right near a safe room as well, so it's all good. Oh, it's this area! Oh, yeah. Again, this this area kind of link is in the remake, but it's in a you kind of get to it in a different way almost, or you can get to it a different way. Um, that is a oh dear, oh dear. It's through here. There's two doors. So this one. Where is this? Oh, looks like we've got more reading to do, chaps. Oh. Oh, that looks familiar. Ah, the bugs. Now, I'm worried that if you do something wrong here, it triggers an enemy. But let's just read the uh, thing on the table first. Researchers will. Researchers will what? <laughs> uh, it's a letter. The top of the letter is missing. The remaining says... Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours. Martin Crackhorn. Great name. Okay, that actually didn't tell me anything useful. Like, at all. It's a well arranged. It's well arranged. Yeah. Uh, what is this? It's a freaking fish tank. That looks like I could possibly push it. Oh, it's too heavy to move. I need to drain the water somehow. How do I do that? 
Oh. More ink ribbons. Okay, um... Yeah, I... Well, no, not right now, because I might pick up something in this room that I want to actually use. Or take with me. Again, I've got eight ink ribbons in the box, like... I'm not going to struggle for them right now. It seems someone has searched here already. It appears to be a switch. Will you push it? Oh, this is probably a bad idea, but yeah, okay, sure. Oh, it's that easy? Really? It's that easy. Oh, now I'm nervous, though. Now I'm nervous. Oh, have I fucked up? Was I supposed to push it from the other side? Oh, no, I better have fucked up. That's all right. It's okay. Through the magic of <laughs> leaving and re-entering a room, everything inside it will suddenly be back to where it was. Don't question it. It just is. Although the water should still be gone. Right, it is. Good. Right, let's push it this way then. What's the fucking point of this? Wait, what's the point of pushing that? Wait, what? There was nothing behind it, though. Oh, hang on! I can push this big motherfucker! Wait, hang on a second, Jill! That was too heavy! I mean, I know water is very heavy, chaps, I do understand that, but like, have you seen the size of this fucking thing? Plus, it's full of books, which are also very heavy. Yeah, there's something behind this, there we go. That's what you do. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take those explosive rounds. Okay, is that really all that was for? That's all this room was for, just to get some explosive rounds? I mean, they are gonna come in handy. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, I'm just gonna have to remember that the ink ribbons are there. I've already forgotten where those other ink ribbons were, by the way. Oh, they were in the, uh, the mirror room, right? I don't know. Anyway, we are now completely out of inventory space. Although, if we find the rest of the armor key doors, we can uh, discard this key. I think there's maybe a couple left that we haven't found. I've lost track. Oh! Red herb. Definitely going to have to come back for you, my friends. Also, Seem to remember in the remake a room like this having some, like, ammo or something under the bed. There we go. Oh, we've got so many bullets. We have so much ammo. Oh, that's the, that's where the lighter is. So it isn't in the kitchens. Huh. Right, well, I'm gonna have to come back here then. But I think, uh, I think we definitely need to save. Because so we've got another crest, which is fantastic progress. And if I die now, I'm going to be pretty gutted. So this is second floor, east wing. What was the other door down here? I'm going to quickly check. Because I have a feeling it was the helmet key. But, I don't know. But yeah, the lighter is actually right near the map, so... If I can... You know what? I think I'll do that before I save. Yeah. That's still... Right, so that is the helmet door. Right. Let's go back to the safe room. We'll dump, dump some stuff. We'll go get the lighter, the red herb, and then we'll get the map. And then we'll probably save. I think that is... A plan, my friends. Down the stairs we go. God, it's so, it's so nice being able to kill zombies and not have to worry about them coming back as super aggressive, fast bastards. The remake is so much more difficult than this game. So far, anyway. Again, I, 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 I've not played this in a while, so I, I don't remember how the game progresses, but, um... So far, this ain't too bad. 
So let's dump the crest. So we got the wind crest, the sun crest. Put the explosive rounds away for now. Um, but I think what I might end up doing is going to get those when we go back to, well, it's called the attic. It leads to the attic, that door that we unlocked uh, near Richard. So um, let's actually put this away for now. Let's grab a green herb out so we can combine it with a red one. And we'll go get the lighter. Yeah, this is this is good. I'm feeling I'm feeling good about this. This this playthrough is going all right. We've not had any catastrophe. You know, well, we died once. We did die, but it's not been that bad. I'm pretty uh pretty happy. I'm also very fucking hungry. I desperately need to get some food. So, once this video's over, I'm gonna go stuff my face. Don't know what I'm gonna have. Maybe some cereal. Uh, it was the store, wasn't it? Yeah, let's go get the red herb, the lighter. And I might even be able to go pick up some ink ribbons as well. Might be able to. Grab the lighter. Oh, actually, no, I don't think I'm... Oh, no, I might. I might. Yeah, I think I will have enough space. Alright, there we go. Good. Now we can burn things. In the remake, you could actually burn zombies. Um, which is really cool to stop them from coming back. Which, uh, I remember the Evil Within. Pretty good game. I enjoyed Evil Within. I did like the mechanic of, of just lighting a match and just dropping it on a corpse and it just bursting into flames immediately. It was very satisfying. That game's story is a bit of a mess. And it did just throw everything at you. Wasn't particularly scary. Pretty fun, though. Never played the second one. I've heard the second one is scarier. I don't know, what do people think about the Evil Within 2? Is it worth playing? But, uh, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab these ink ribbons, because... We're only gonna need... Oh, wait, I haven't combined the herbs yet, you, you sploob. What are you doing, you knobhead? There you go. Right, now we can grab the Incribbon. So, we are... We are good. Like, we have got, what, 11 Incribbons now? We could theoretically have 14, I think, if I went and grabbed the other ones. I did not remember how many these, this game gives you. Like, there's me worried about, you know, saving every so often, but I, I'm, I still like to save when I've done stuff. Like, I feel like I've made progress. So, let's go get the map. Even though, I don't think we really need it at this point. We've opened up most of the doors now, I think. It's still better to get it. Oh, this game is so good. This game is so good. Alright. I mean, this should work. How does this work? How... I... What are the physics of this? I have no idea. It's a map of the second floor. Will you take it? Nah, I don't fancy it. Of course I am, Jill. Right. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Oh, actually, yeah, there's, there's a little bit we haven't... Okay, no, that's fair. There's, there's quite a lot, actually, that we haven't explored properly yet, which does help me keep track, so... That's fine. That's good. Um, okay. But yes, we are definitely going to... Oh, just listen to that fire. Listen to that fire. That makes me think of the older Tomb Raider games as well. Although usually I'm stood in the middle of that fire burning to death. 
the oil rig in uh, Tomb Raider 2, for example. But yeah, I think we've made some pretty damn good progress today, chaps. We only need to find one more crest. And... Uh, we... have... opened up a bunch of doors. There's still quite a few we need to go check out, of course, but... Um, and yeah, we might have to fight the giant snake next time. Oh, I don't want to do that. But we do, we've got so much healing. We've got so much freaking ammo. We should be fine. We should be fine. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Resident Evil. Let me know in the comments uh, if you have. And I really appreciate any engagement with these videos, of course. But for now... I'm going- oh, I actually already got the encrypts out. Well, hmm. Do I go- I'm gonna keep the uh, I'm gonna keep the lighter on me. I'll keep the lighter on me just in case, because I'm gonna go back to that room with the candles. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna save now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye-bye for now. Oh, I know for a fact some dogs jump through these windows. That's one thing I do remember about this game. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! No! Oh you dick! Screw you, Fido!